implications in yeah. a moment, but just looking at the, the referendum campaign, there's been a lot of fear raised, as, as Peter was saying there, uh, about the possible economic implications. Do you buy any of those arguments? Look, it's very clear to me that Scotland could be an independent economy. There's no doubt the Scottish economy is bigger than the Irish economy. Its rate of unemployment is half of our rate of unemployment. It has oil. We know it has oil. Its population structure is actually quite young in comparison to other parts of the UK. So this is a substantial economy that could survive on its own without any real problems. That's the first thing. People, there's, there are issues, but it could survive on its own. Mm. That's the first thing. It could even thrive on its own. So you're talking not about a bit of the United Kingdom. What you're talking about is an economy that is 190 billion euros GDP. So it's big. So okay. there's no reason to believe it can't survive and thrive. Okay, but well we saw in, in Robert Shore's report there, we saw Jim Murphy, the former uh, Scottish Secretary, saying they pay, what was it, 53 billion a year in taxes, including oil taxes, and get 65 billion back. So yeah, you're starting with a... If you, reduce, if you reduce economics to the budget deficit, mm -hmm. you're actually putting the cart before the horse. The question is, how do you get there? And can the Scottish economy be dynamic enough to generate revenue over the course of, let's say, 10 years, and to reduce its expenditure, to narrow that budget deficit. In actual fact, the budget deficit doesn't matter a lot, as long as they can finance themselves, and I have no doubt they can. So I think the people to stand back and see what is happening in Scotland is you have an economy and a country that going independent now is probably the best time they could ever do so, because for the next 40 years they have oil revenues, and substantial oil revenues, and they will probably deploy a, an investment strategy to attract multinationals like our own. Their wages are much lower than Ireland, one of their main competitors. So if you actually take yourself out of this campaign and think, can this entity not only survive but thrive, there's absolutely no reason to believe it can't. What we're getting now is a very clear policy of scaremongering on the part of the establishment in Westminster, and by that I mean the political parties and the corporate bloc, because they don't want to change. Okay, well, let's take it as...